to express my concerns peacefully, to see my elected representatives, to watch the participatory government. I'm sitting there quietly watching. Some of my friends were arrested unjustly just two days prior to this incident. And I say unjustly, not as a matter of opinion, but the courts have already ruled that their arrests were not only unjust, but illegal and politically motivated. So this is the context. My friends have already been illegally arrested, as verified by the courts. We're going in to express their concerns. And one of the people who had been illegally arrested just a few days prior for sitting quietly in a public lobby gets up to speak and tells her story. She's called up to the podium. She doesn't stand up. She doesn't interrupt. She's called by the chairman of the county board of supervisors to the podium. She speaks. She tells her story. And the entire audience rises to clap, myself included. And the sheriff's department comes straight for the organizers. They come straight for the people who they know, and they say, you four are under arrest. For what? For clapping. When the entire audience was clapping. And then they say that we are, uh, what is it, creating an unreasonable noise, criminal trespass, um, disrupting the public meeting. All of these charges were thrown out by the courts. All of them. Not only this, but today, today, Justice McMurray wrote an opinion saying that our arrests were so egregious that the Maricopa County Sheriff's Department has to pay for our criminal defense attorneys, which is never done in criminal cases. That's very rare. And Justice Mark Murray put in writing, he says, and I might not have the exact verbiage correct, but it's good. we're going to make sure this, uh, this document gets widely distributed. He said, as she was being arrested, Mrs. Tylen, one of my friends who was arrested with me, can be heard on the audio recording saying, fascists, this is fascism. And these statements, says the judge, appear to be, in preponderance of the evidence, more accurate and objectively correct than any of the testimony brought on forth by the prosecuting attorneys. These are the words of the judge. This is concerning. You know, I'm not a full-time organizer. I'm a nurse. And when you Google my name, you will see page after page after page of stories about the arrests. And not every employer understands this. And even being acquitted, this is a challenge moving forward. And this is a challenge when I go to a job interview and people want to know, I see when I go to your name, you've been arrested. Um, I just want to say really quick, um, uh, welcome to the territory that was once of the autumn, but also as well as the autumn or which we as autumn, we call them the Hoogie autumn. Those that have gone, the Akamar autumn, the river people, the Thon autumn, people of the south, <laughs> the desert and the Hyachit autumn, uh, the people of the sands. Um, at one time, our territory expanded all the way from uh, Red Mountain, and it still exists today. It expands into Mexico, uh, into Hermosillo, from uh, Turquito Vac, or Sonoita on the Gulf Coast, all the way to the um, uh, Chihuahua to see our mother. I just want to say that uh, what's going on right now, and I want to say this to the communities here, we're all in this together. Yeah. 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 We as autumn, not only as autumn, but also as well as our, our other Hajjan to the south as well, the Yoemi, the Yaki. Yeah. And we, and we, you know, we, they all, we're all us and, uh, the autumn of the Apaches, the Kumiai, all the people that are one time on the borders, we're all suffering from this, these repercussions that hurt us. The militarization that pulls a real blunt force into us. All we gotta say is, screw the borders. Yeah! Yeah! Again, we're all in this together, we're suffering together, we should be working together as a people. Nobody should suffer by themselves, knowingly that us two, us as people, we're all human beings here, and human beings that our Creator, has blessed us. He's blessed us with this voice to speak. He's blessed us with this strength to fight against what's going on right now, this police state, this crazy uh, democratic, Monogamous bullshit, you know, that's affecting us as a people. 
and that's messing us up. And I'm glad to see people here today, not only fighting, but also to voice. And I just want to say from my people, from the autumn, that we give you strength and that we're here for you. Yeah. Yeah. We have not left your side. Let us be together and work it together and fuck this system and we can do what we can. Fuck the system! Woo! So he was the guy. Like that, they cuss me out. They cuss. How many of you guys have they cuss? One of them. Every single one of us. These deputies have no respect. They have no respect. We've been in this community, Native Americans. We're Native Americans. And we. We are supposed to illegal immigrants because one color, brown. That's the color that he's looking for. He came into what they're trying to arrest immigrants. The community is made up of. They pulled one person over, they said, we need your ID. She showed them their Indian ID. She, the deputy said, it's not a good ID. I need you to get in the car. We need to go check you downtown. And she said, screw you. I'm going home. The cops wanted to arrest her that day. Why? The numbers of the sheriff are going to go up. We arrested so and such and such amount of suspected illegal immigrants. That is her pretext. Suspected. He doesn't know if they're immigrants. He just wants to add that number up. Next thing you know, that number drops a few days after the sweep. If you guys pay attention, that number will drop. He'll say 30, it will drop down to 20. Why? Because he probably profiled 10 people. Yeah. <clears throat> and those are the 10 people that we continue to fight for. The sheriff abuses people. Yeah. He treats Guadalupe yeah. like a woman that has been abused, beat, yeah. sexually raped and everything. Uh, Our youth do not respect any law enforcement in Guadalupe. One reason, they will cuss you out. They will slam, slam you. They will stop you. They will question you. They will arrest you. They will lie about you. Continuously. If you have a problem in Guadalupe, you better handle it yourself. Someone took out a knife on me. I didn't call the deputies. Why? They ain't gonna help me. One time I did call them because something had happened in my house. The cops said, we aren't the fucking eviction police. So I went back to my room, make sure nothing was missing. Says, Leave. I don't need you guys. I can handle this myself. There's another deputy. I seen him with my bare eyes fighting my dad's best friend in the living room, fisticuffs, everything. They broke the, the dining room table. The cop just got up, dusted himself off, put on his binoculars, got his gun, put it back on, walked out, left. <clears throat> These are true stories. This deputy still works in Guadalupe. This deputy is hiding from me, hiding from us, because we know the truth. Yeah. We see him. We know the truth. Yeah. We see what yeah. they are like. I'm from the movement called Puente. Uh, we have a little resistance going outside of Joe Arpaio's office uh, Monday through Friday, high noon to 1 p.m. Yeah. Uh, Woo! We got one year, two months in resistance of, of 287G. Um, there's a couple of things I wanted to say. First of all, we can't speak about uh, undocumented Im immigration without speaking about the North American Free Trade Agreement. Yeah. The North American Free Trade Agreement is what displaces millions of people and, and causes unemployment to so many Americans. We got to realize that we have a common future and a common enemy, which is the North American Free Trade Agreement and our common future is a police state if we don't stand up to people like Joe Arpaio. Woo! Woo! January, January 16th, we're, we're doing a national call to all the people of conscience to come out and march against Joe Arpaio. We have people from all over the United States that are going to come. Zach De La Rocha from Rage Against the Machine is going to be here.